All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation 16 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of two. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the power of one over two x on both sides. So I get 16 to the power of x to the power of one over two x is equal to x to the power of two to the power of one over two x. Now, If I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So we can use this property for both of these terms. 16 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 2x is equal to 16 to the power of x times 1 over 2x. And x to the power of 2 to the power of 1 over 2x is equal to x to the power of 2 times 1 over 2x. Now, the x and x cancel out on my left-hand side because they multiply out. So I'm left with 16 to the power of 1 half on my left-hand side. And for my right-hand side, the 2's cancel out. So I'm left with x to the power of 1 over x. Now, my goal is to turn the left side to be in the form some number to the power of 1 over that number. So we can make that number our solution. Well, right now, this means that 16 and 2 have to turn into the same number. So we need to rearrange this so that 16 and 2 are the same number. So to do that, sixteen is the same thing as four squared. So I'm gonna rewrite it as four squared. So I have four squared to the power of one half is equal to x to the power of one over x. And now remember, these two multiply, two times one half is just one. So I'm left with four is equal to x to the power of one over x. Now four is the same thing as negative two squared. And two, our exponent here, I can rewrite as one over negative one half. and I have this times negative one. So I have one over negative one half times negative one. And remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So this negative one, I'm gonna move to be an exponent of negative two. So I get negative two to the power of negative one to the power of one over negative one half is equal to x to the power of one over x. And negative two to the power of negative one is one over negative two. So my solution here is negative one half.